Right, it's still December the 2nd, Saturday. And this is a follow on from the introduction I gave you the last few videos ago. So, today's task, 2nd of December. I've been out in the uh, big shed now, getting that pre prepped and ready. For to take um, all of these chicks that are coming on, and some of the breeds that I wanted, I didn't get hatched out. I had dire hatches to be perfectly honest. And so ultimately I've had to buy some men, the breeds that I wanted. So next weekend, um, I've got a 100, 150 mile round trip to go and pick up some, a trio of Buffalo Pintons. Their point of layer, a trio of Isabella Brahma. Um, they're really well on, they're not point of lay, but they're 16 weeks or something like that. And then I've got numerous chicks at different ages come in, um, in the black spangle, uh, in the spangled Hamburgs. And there's some small chicks all need heat, there's some that's off heat, there's one that's well off heat. I basically took what they had of everything, all different ages, and uh, so there'll be five or six of those, maybe eight. And then I've got some Isabella Leghorns coming as well. Um, they're three weeks old sexed, and they are three pullets and two cockerels. Um, I'm trying to think there is something else. I am. Um, anyway, you'll see the one again. So I've been getting this big shed that have been that Tony and Andrew cleaned out for me. They got most of the bulk of uh, the stuff out of there and then they just threw the rubbish back in there to tidy the pen up uh, when the rain came on and one thing or another. So I've just now cleaned all of that out and I'm just came in, I've had a bite to eat and a cup of co having a cup of coffee. And then we'll give you a look in there over the door cleaned out. And I'm going to start to put perches in there now. And they're going to be hanging, swinging perches in there. I just need to find my screw hooks. Um, I know I've got zillions somewhere. But I do keep hiding stuff from myself. And then I can't remember where I've put them. So I'm going to have this cup of coffee and then try and dig them out. And then we'll give you a bit of a look around. Already it's getting dark. I've just been cracking on with this. So... The nest boxes are all in, it's all cleaned out, all the floors swept out, there's just my tools in here now. Uh, I've put some hanging perches in here, like that. I've got the feeders and drinkers up here. And let me show you how I designed this, so, to make life a little easier. So, up here, I've got all of these on paracord, through hooks and eyes. And basically, I can just drop my drinker down. And up here, I have some screws that I can just hook it round. Sorry about the light, guys. And I can put screws in and have this at different heights as they grow. That's still high. So the level we wanted it to start with is that. So I've deliberately moved that one that way. And this one this way. <coughs> Excuse me. So that they're away for them food and drinkers and they aren't messing in these. These are off the ground. And uh, actually that should be a bit lower, but yeah. Oh yes. I have another setting on this. There we go. Right. Um, but that's basically what there's got by the time the straws in it's going to be right anyways. I can I can adjust the screws of where I want them to hang. And the nest boxes are all built. Um, well really, I've just got these two bags of rubbish to take out, the tools to tidy up, and then I can get all of this um, filled with deep bedding. These Isabella uh, well summers are looking very nice now. The pullets shouldn't be too long till they come on later. Can't wait to hatch youngsters out of these. Welcome back, Alan's allotment. 
Sunday the 3rd of December. A bit brighter today. It was minus four yesterday and it was pretty cold. That's why you heard the diesel heater running in the background. Uh, today it's a bit milder. It's about two degrees above. And uh, I've just came up to get this shed finished off now. And we're going to start putting these chickens, uh, these chicks in here. So I'm just going to spin you around now and give you a look. Right, so there we go. Hold on. Got the waterer in. Chick crumb for those that still need the chick crumb. And mixed corn and uh, growers pellets. And this one for the one for the older ones that need a bit more meat, basically. A bit more bulking out. So what I've had to do as well is I've sealed off the top of these nest boxes and that was a job that all need, always needed finished and I've now put perspex on here one to protect it but two and more importantly so that the, if the chicks jump on here they're just going to slide right back off I don't want them crapping all over here basically and temporarily I've just screwed some more boards on the front of the nest box because we the, the nest boxes aren't needed yet this is a growing shed mostly and uh, we've got two different height perches for, some for the older ones and a low one for the younger ones and i'm fairly confident that the the smaller ones will be able to get onto that i can drop it down if i need to but i'm pretty sure they'll be able to manage that right right that was a bit of a marathon uh having to play a chicken catcher running around catching 22 chicks. Well, I think that's what that is, but we'll have a little count up in a minute. I'll spin you around now, and we'll give you a look at them in the new home. Right, so they're all in this big shed now. The babies are all cuddled up in this corner. I've put the heat plate in for them. They will eventually move to that if they get cold. But for now, they're just keeping themselves to themselves. Now, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. 12 in there, and these are the older ones. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of those. And they're all making themselves at home already, getting all the spiders and everything off the bottom of here. They have the fresh air that's coming in under here all the time, under the boxes. And the birds will be up above. So, yeah. They're all settling in. They shouldn't harm these ones, they'll soon get used to each other, but I will keep an eye on them for a, a couple of days. And uh, so we've got chick crumb for the ones that need the chick crumb, although these have now started on um, the wheat and the growers pellets as well, but only in small doses. And of course they've got that there if they need it, and the water. Heat plate should they need it, however... They probably don't. With this big thick bedding down here, they're going to be fine. And already they're settling in, they're starting to eat. Once they start eating and drinking, you know, they've, uh, they're have they a bit more comfortable. So, we'll leave them. There's plenty of room in here for them all to grow. <laughs> right, go and get a quick cup of coffee, and then we'll make a start on building the fences and putting the wire on the top of here and getting the gate made for this. And that's another step closer. And if I've got time left, I'll make a start on cleaning this one out as well. Right. Slight change of plan. This is basically a roundup for today. I'm not going to do any more. Um, I need a break from it. <laughs> I've got the main job done that I needed doing. And I've got room in the other cages now for the other chicks that's coming next week. Um, a lot of them will be going into that big shed, and one, of, and I think there's about 13 will need a bit of heat for a week or two, and then they can go in there as well. But the main objective is done, and I've got, it's still cold in here, look. Um, I've got the big shed done now, all prepared. It's less maintenance because it's one... Well, two feeders and one drinker, basically, for all that lot. Instead of running round uh, in pouring down rain and freezing weather, just top those up every day and the job's done. Swap the uh, power pack over for the heat plate, just for another week or so, 
and that will be that finished with as well. Once I see that they're all okay or they're not needing the heat plate as much then we'll just simply remove it. Um, looking forward to next week to getting the breeds that unfortunately I didn't get. So the model of the story is don't try and hatch eggs in winter. It's way, especially on solar. <laughs> it's way, 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 way too hard. And I won't be making that state mistake again. But we're fast approaching February, March. And the days will be longer and lighter. We'll have some sunshine, hopefully. And we'll have another go then. By that time I'll have finished finessing the incubators. And hopefully it'll be a case of setting one incubator with lots of eggs, getting a good hatch, and doing it that way. That's the intentions. Let's wait and see how it pans out. Right, so what I've decided to do, instead of finishing that shed, yes it needs doing, but I'm thinking I'm off for 10 days over the Christmas period. Obviously Christmas and Boxing Day and New Year's Day aside, I can use some of those days to come up here and finish that off and have it done ready for January hopefully. Along with the other two small coops I'm going to be building around the back. So what I've decided to do instead is just have this nice cup of coffee, go down home, get myself warm and do some of these videos that you've all been waiting for for months now. So, as always, Wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks for all your likes, dislikes, comments, subscriptions, suggestions, donations and all the new subscribers who are welcome aboard. It all is very, very much appreciated. And if I don't catch you before, if you don't see this video before Christmas, have a fantastic Christmas wherever you are. Or however you celebrate Christmas. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.